Hello everybody, my name is Jensen and welcome to Old School RuneScape Challenges episode number 152. I'm here with Dave Tanzu. How are we doing, Dave? King Tanzu. <laughs> None of that, please. First of all, I have got the Gilnor Games winner next to me. Very proud. Second of all, if you haven't watched the previous episode, uh, episode 151, make sure to check that out on Dave's channel. That was uploaded last week. We're bringing the challenges back uh, just as a bit of filler. Wait, sorry, did you say last week? By the time this video, it'll be about three weeks. We are bringing the challenges back uh, just as a bit of filler in between the God Sword set from Scratch series uh, because we are getting to the grinding parts of that series. So make sure you like, make sure you sub and stay tuned for these videos. Dave, jumping into the rules for this one, you ready? Hit me. Boom. Domestic. We will be starting from complete scratch, Dave. Zero GP, nothing on your person whatsoever. The aim is to make money from scratch with a three hour time limit. In that time, you can do whatever you want, Dave. The whole point is you've got to get one big cash stack by the end of that three hours. Make sense? Yeah, it's, we've done that a lot of, a lot of times, yeah. We sense. have, we have. Once the three hours is up, we're going to take our total GP stack and use it to completely make our own player-owned house. That means we're going to be completely removing our, our current POHs, Dave, just to... <laughs> the bricks are gone, the walls are down, yeah? They think we're doing another from scratch. They think we're doing another from scratch, and we just fucking... Who thinks of these ideas? Who thinks of these ideas? I swear to God. Who thinks of these? The idea is, the more money you make, the better house you can make, the better chance you've got of winning the challenge. The person who has the best POH will win. Now, POH is a, a subjective, so how are we going to judge this? We're going to get five content creators, and we're going to make our own MTV crib-styled video promos showcasing our POHs. Uh, we're going to send these over to five content creator judges. They're going to vote for which one they think is the best house, and the person who gets the most votes will win. Simple as that, Dave. Uh, just to clarify, is it strictly on the house, or is it down to editing, commentary, all that kind of stuff? You can well? try whatever tactic you want to try and convince the judges, Dave, with your design, your promo, right. you can make jokes, just whatever you, whatever you can do to just try and win the votes. The point. So just call right, it a dub. Okay. Person with the most votes wins, and the person who loses will receive a forfeit. Dave, what are we saying? I'm saying get your forfeit ideas down below. Hello. Let's go. Get them down below. Drop a like. Drop a sub. And let's jump into it. Yeet. Right, so we're starting off this video a lot like the last one. We're going to head over to the gauntlet. It's too good money from scratch. Basically, we're going to build up a nice foundation at the start, get a lot of decent start money. Um, maybe do, we'll do a couple uh, a couple loots. I'm not going to bore you with the, um, with the specifics of me killing bloody rats and searching around rooms. Mate, I've absolutely... Mate, I overgeared. I used like bloody three or four food. Absolutely unreal. Come on, give me, give me an unbelievable reward here. Are you shagging me? Get in the gulag, bro. Bless me, bless me, bless me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only fitting that we enter a portal in a house video, isn't it? This is going to be our first money maker because revs have kind of been uh, been nerfed, so we can't really do that. I'm not being funny. I'm not having a bad house. This this video is coming down to the best house, so I need the most money to get the nicest looking stuff. So with that being said, let's start the timer. Let's do some gauntlet <laughs> again. <laughs> Boom, be seeing you, pal. Fucking go back to Legolas. You know what I mean? Good loot here. Good loot. Good loot. Blade, what would you do? Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh my god, I may have to do another. I only plan on doing one. Oh dear, I've got to do another. Kill number two. If we don't get anything now, we're just going chin chompers. I don't even care. Go on, do it for me. I am... <laughs> Lads, we're going to have to hunt black chins for three hours at this rate. Yes, yes, that's that's why we're here, boys. That's why we're here. And again, there's another one, please. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty dire. Well, I think we're gonna call it there for Gauntlet. We're gonna get this last one. We're just over the hour mark now, so that means we've got two hours left. Come on, big reward, big reward. I'll take it. Right, we'll go to, uh, work out how much money we've got to sell on the G. Yeet. Right, just over an hour in. 350k is the grand total would you look at that that's going to put us in a nice place in order to do the next method we're going to do <laughs> with the way this is going boys i'm just head and shoulders above dave at the minute i'm really sticking my neck out on the line for this challenge right i need to get to fucking work here boys the, the bloody time is running i'm sat here jesus all right, lads, I've just spent my entire cash stack other than about 20k on this Vorkaf setup. I don't know how this is going to go, to be honest with you. I'm only rocking out with the bloody rune crossbow, DI'd, a couple of pots and all that kind of jazz. 
We're going to see how it works. Because if we can if we can sustain decent kills with this gear, we can make some huge, huge profit. Right, ladies and gents, we sold all our loot. 67k. What we are going to buy is a black DI set and a glory and then catch some black chins. Need a bit of defense so I don't die, you know what I mean? Come on. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. How much are you worth? But I won't lie, I thought they were over 3k, lads, but I'll still take two and a half. You know, I'm thinking, realistically, if I, if I catch 100 of these, that's 250k, right? What am I going to build in my house for 250k that looks nice? Like, some rooms cost 100k. It's going to cost me that much just for a re What am I going to show? An empty room? I always knew I'd find solo mission in one of these boxes. <laughs> Shaking box. Shaking box. Solo. Are you in there? <laughs> Right lads, there we have a hundred black chin chompers. Didn't actually take me that long. Um, we are going to go get a basic gear set up for barrows. Obviously, we've got to go barrows. Bloody hell, just caught them all. Fucking hell. Uh, we're going to go buy a basic barrow set up now. We're going to send a couple of barrows. We probably might spend an hour and a half, two hours doing this, you know. Um, if, we, if we do land something, I'm very tempted to just like switch it up. And like maybe I saw that guy going over there. I might try to kill like some green dragon bots or something because... They're going to have DI'd and everything. Let's see how this turns out then, boys, let me tell you. You know what? This really wasn't that bad. I'm going to be completely honest. It really wasn't. And he's dead, boys, like that. I'm pretty fucking happy about that one, you know. Decent. <laughs> well, I can upgrade the others. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm actually just going to have to sell. I'm just going to sell all the loot as we go along. I think it'll make it a lot easier to keep a hold of. And I can just take a take a note of how much money I'm, I'm getting. All right, have a hun. Yes, I have got a buddy Vorka. <sighs> oh, my name's Alpha. I want mithril arrows, even though there's rune arrows in the game, and rune arrows are much better. Idiot. Mate, she's not even got glasses on. I could have given her fucking anything. I could have given her bronze arrows. She wouldn't have bloody known. Second loot. Come on. Come on. Something big. I'll take that. I'll take that. It's decent. Nice. That's pretty nice. That's pretty good, isn't it? I tell you what, I am just loving that money climb up in that bottom right corner. Boom, look at that already. Unreal. Right, lads, here is the basic setup. We're just going to get the Ardy Cloak now and then get the offhand Mage Book and buy a pair of Rune Gloves. We've got 7.7k left. 200 casts in the uh, Trident. Why are we doing out here, love? Fucking, you've had that much to drink. You're outside the pubs kicking off. Kicking off, lads. Right, lads, we bought everything. We've got 2.5k left and we got a dream. And this is the dream. That's, 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 that's what we call over here. <clears throat> Shit. There's one good thing that's come out of this, right? And that is that I'm doing chess in literally five minutes. So, realistically, I could probably do about 20 chess before, you know, the time's up. Maybe even more than that. I'll take your skirt, I'll take your top, I'll take anything, actually. I'll actually take a 441 mind rune, so I think that'll, that'll be really good to do. I might make a crew chair or something like that. Right, the blood rune's going in because we need to buy ourselves. We're gonna just, lads, we might just try going until we get an item. And if we don't, then it's tough shit in it. But we'll see what happens here. Stop saying that! Shut up! We see what happens. Sort of fuck the commentary. You know what I mean? Do it for me. Do it for Frodo. Give me some runes and let's go. To be fair, keep getting chests like that. I can't complain. <laughs> Come on. It's 60. <clears throat> to be fair, we're making consistent money. That's all that matters, okay? 704k. We still got this. We still got... We've probably got almost a mil. Um... <laughs> I've got an idea, boys, that I might be playing with 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 ten minutes to go. We'll, <laughs> I only said it, you know. We'll, uh, we might get around to that. Go on, second to last chest. Come on, boom, leap. <sighs> Come on, last chest. Do it for me. Okay, right, lads. Oh, <laughs> right, lads. <sighs> this is gonna be a bit cheeky. It's a big blue dragon, yeah. I don't know why I just did that. Fifty k and the. The, the, the bolt tips, I don't know if that's good. How much are these bolt tips going for? Jeez, Louisa, 95,000 gold pieces. I'll stop with the Murray impression. 
Fuck me, that was a rough kill. Let me tell you, that's got to deserve a pet or something. Oh, the talisman, it's like 500 GP, man. Go on, I dare you. I actually dare you. Diamonds. Shine bright like a diamond. Oh, we, lo we love a good bolt tip, let me tell you. I love just the tip. What? This is a Vorkaf kill number 100 in total. Just some DI, the random, random shit. Um, I'm going to cut it short there, I think. Uh, it's probably the best way to make money, Vorkaf, but uh, I feel like I'm not... Then I'm getting bored. I, I've got about just over half an hour left, so I'm going to head to Barrows, the classic, uh, because if we just pull one big item, it's going to gonna make a massive, massive effect on my end cash stack. Say I pull a fucking Carol top, boys. I am buzzing. Right, boys, we are suited and booted. We, we just need to pull a big item. DH legs, Torag legs. I take a fucking Torag out at this point. I, I, just something big, which is going to help us. That's the amount of cash that we've got so far. Um, oh, piss off, DH tunnel. You garbage, Derek, bro. Give me your helmet, mate. Fuck off. 82k. I ain't complaining. Right, this looks like it's going to be the last chest. I'm running out of time, so we're going to have to get this. Run to the GE. Come on. Right, with all said and done, we have a total of... 1.259 mil. This is our exact amount of money we've got to use to build the best house possible. It's not a lot of money, so it, I've, I've not got a great budget here, but I'm going to have to work some fucking magic here, boys and girls. Let me tell you. Right, so we've sold everything, and I won't lie to you. I'm quite happy with the, the amount that we've made here. However, content, boys and girls. 19 minutes left. I'm going to reserve 750k of this, and we're going to go try box our way to 2 mil. <laughs> is it against the rules? No, it is not. Could this go downhill? Yes, it could. I won't lie, lads. If we lose, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I ain't throwing the video. But if we win, we go again. Let's dance. Let's dance. Boys, 250k for 250k. Got to go for the punch, boys. The punch. The punch is what gets you to win. Pid, you get a pid, we're two up. We're two up. Come on, boys. But this is going well. Oh, come on. Seven, we like that. And again. Yeah, as long as we're hitting numbers, that's fine. Oh, come on, he's hitting more than me here, lads. Oh, come on, lads. Oh, come on! He's hitting everything! He's hitting everything! Ten. Nice, come back. He's he's ruining my day. He's ruining my day. Fucking punch him, Dave! Why am I hitting so many zeros and he's just hitting numbers? He didn't put prayer on or anything, did he? A 14! <sighs> Why is he hit every punch and I'm hitting zeros? It's a bit late, Dave, it's a bit late to start hitting now, mate. Yeah? Give, just give him zeros and let me take the dob. Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually a joke. How many zeros did I just hit, man? Fox in 81k. <laughs> Staking for 100k and I don't even care, man. <laughs> Come on, Dave. If you win, if I, if I lose this, boys, it's, it's game over. Eight. He's going to hit a nine and just finish. Just give him some zeros now. Bye. Don't fucking buy me. Come on, Dave. Come on. Come on. Come on, Dave. Fuck. This. Come on. Punch him. Good. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I'm really pissed off at how many zeros I've hit in those three stakes. I had one mil, and now I've got 580k because I'm fucking stupid. You're stupid, Dave. Boys and girls, our houses have now been complete with the GP we made from scratch. Uh, we've made two promo videos, one each. We're now going to show you those on the screen now. Let us know in the comments who you think has the best house. Comment either with Toso or Tanzu. Following up from that, we're going to get the votes from the, the five judges, content creator judges, uh, who are going to let us know who has won the challenge.
As we enter, you can see the vast garden space with a nice selection of plants. I decided to opt out against adding any trees here to make sure it's nice and airy when you first walk into the house. Didn't you just run out of money? <clears throat> can you just fucking point the camera like I hired you to do, yeah? It's the money! Moving from the portal, we have this nice free-flowing garden, or as I like to call it, my happy place. What about the uh, gnome stronghold brothel? Is that not your happy place? Moving from the portal, we have this nice free-flowing garden, or as I like to call it, my second happy place. The garden leads to a beautifully constructed mahogany staircase with a variety of items littered around the room. I must admit, when I saw the word glory, I knew I had to have one of these on my wall. Doesn't quite look like the one in the blue moon in toilets, although you do get a different kind of neck there. Hello. It's the money, it's, it's the money. Climbing up the mahogany stairs, we come to this lovely open space with a nice display of runes to the left. Other than that, I mean... You ran out of money again, didn't you? Yeah, we'll move on, shall we? Did somebody say gaming? Well, that's the first thing that comes to mind in this room. Archery targets, a big fuck-off brick you can punch, endless hours of fun and carnage in this room. Look, even hide-and-seek with a fairy. I'm fairy sure this room's magical. <laughs> Having some RuneScape beef? I wonder where I could settle the score. Oh yes, how about in Vitosa's very own combat ring? So, do you step in here a lot? Eh, not really. This isn't my favourite ring to slide in, if you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, stay away from the marshmallow things over there. Last night got pretty crazy. It's the money, it's, it's the money. From the violence straight to the romance. Settle down and relax in the four poster bed and mahogany features throughout. Or even nestle up in the fire on those cold Gillinor winter days. There's no mattresses. What did she say? She said they're uh, actresses. Pretty sure she said there's no map. Come along. Rome wasn't built in a day, but this fucking house was. Back downstairs into the kitchen now. Here's a nice big larder if you fancy a lager. I prefer wine. I could have guessed that. That's all you've done since we've been fucking filming. It's the money. It's, it's the money. From the lounge area, we can walk straight into our beautifully constructed mahogany themed living room. If this fireplace doesn't scream class, then I don't know what does. Glass! The large pool is the biggest feature of this relaxing, magical garden, featuring handcrafted benches to look up on the fantastically clipped topiary bush and a weird tree thing. Don't zoom out! Quickly hop around the game with these beautifully crafted mahogany teleportation portals, which can take you to many popular areas of Gillenor, such as... Arrows or... Karend? <laughs> Didn't think this through, did you? Nah, you're right. <laughs> Ever want some of your greatest RuneScape achievements displayed in your very own home? Well, look no further than this achievement room. Displaying the great monsters I have slain, the quests I have completed, and the destinations I can travel to. I mean, it's pretty empty. I'm guessing you ran out of money again? Yeah, the money thing again. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my humble abode. Welcome yourself in. I'm going to give you a little tour of what 589,000 coins can buy you on Old School RuneScape. First thing you might notice when you walk in is the tip jar. Now I know what you're thinking. I've just walked in and he's already asking me for money. Wrong. This tip jar's purpose is to get money together to donate to a wonderful charity called Tanzu's Back Pocket. Is this supposed to be in here? What? It isn't. Oh, I see. <clears throat> this tip jar's purpose is to get money together to donate to a wonderful charity called the Countryside Preservation. As you can see, I am a huge supporter of this charity by these wonderful gardens I have running through my house. We have two rare and sought after magic trees, which are actually the only two left in existence. Here we have a pond with a 20 foot shower koi in it. 
He must be hiding. And finally, here we have some plants all the way from the Amazon. Feel free to leave a tip to preserve this natural beauty on your exit. And speaking of tips, here we have the master bedroom with a wonderful double bed where you can fuck bitches and make money while you fuck fucking them. Stay on top if you fucking donut. Here we have the master bedroom with a wonderful double bed made from the finest teak finished with a nice gloss coat. It's definitely gloss, but not wood gloss, Dave. Your missus wants to get all doled up? Say no more. Bit chilly in the night? Say no more. Feel like taking it to the floor? No worries. We have an exquisite rug imported all the way from the Italian region of Veneto. And finally, we have some fine drapes covering the windows so you can block out the sun, make the room that bit more cozier, or even use them to clean up, <laughs> you know. And speaking of cleaning up, just next door we have the kitchen, because in this house, simplicity matters. Here we have an enormous stove, ready to go at a moment's notice for all your cooking needs. And in the corner, we have some chef's delight, for those nights when you've got the plumber in and you feel like letting loose. The lads. You what? The lads, Dave. We said plumber. Oh, silly me. <clears throat> for those nights when you have the lads in and you feel like playing beer pong and so on. But how can we play beer pong on that tiny table? <laughs> Don't you worry. In the next room, we have an exquisite mahogany table made out of the finest mahogany that the world has to offer. Bit cold? Just add a couple of logs to the fire and watch the room light up. The effect of the alcohol making some of your friends are a little bit rowdy. Getting annoyed with the way they're treating you and your house? Sort it out over here in the boxing ring. With a choice of weaponry at your disposal for whatever you choose to do. In here is the living room. I do live alone, but I decided to build three beautiful mahogany chairs because I always have my friends around. Right, guys? Guys? <laughs> Looks like it's just me and you again, Paul. Do you still want me in this dress, Daddy? Yeah, keep the dress. And finally, it's safe to say a house isn't a home without your little fairy friends. In here, we have a room dedicated to your little mates. In here, they have a nice little cozy home, a scratching post to keep the fleas away, even a food and watering station so you don't even have to do anything. And if they start kicking off at you as well, Chuck them in the arena and see who's worthy of giving you a bit of grief. And that's my home. I'm sure with your vote, I can continue to contribute to the countryside of preservation. Without your support, I fear all this beautiful scenery and wildlife will just die off. See ya. Right, so I've watched both the boys house MTV crib stores. Both of the boys are obsessed with mahogany. Everything's mahogany, vintage mahogany. Mahogany this, mahogany that. However, the Big Dave does have a teak bed, apparently, so I don't know. Pretty piss weak, if you ask me. Jensen has a pool, and Dave doesn't. I think Jen's house looks nicer. He has a glory hole. The big selling point for me on Dave's house, though, is um, the curtains that he uses in his living room. He says that they double up as a cum rag, and that's something I can relate to. <laughs> I vote for Dave, mate. Um, yeah, I really like the cum rag curtains. I have to admit, I'm impressed. Both houses are definitely places I would f in. You've both done a great job presenting your humble abodes. Tanzu has an elegant home with rugs from Italy, beautiful mahogany furniture, and the last two magic trees in existence. Fertoso has an alluring garden with a large pool and a weird tree thing, an epic gaming room, and my personal favorite, a glory hole, just like the one I use at the Blue Moon Inn. But there's one thing that one of you managed to do perfectly, and that's pick the correct architectural style. To me, the purple and brown wooden walls of the Asidia style are a clear winner, which is why I choose Tanzu as the winner of this challenge. But Jen, I'll still be checking in once in a while to use the, uh, you know. Th there is nothing appealing about these houses. This was probably the hardest decision I've ever had to make, deciding which one is better. I feel fucking stupid using the word better. Any positive adjective associated to either of these houses, it feels wrong. It feels very wrong, but I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Uh, let, let me start with Vertoso. Okay, portal on the edge of your house to get fresh air. You understand that 90% of the world is outdoors. Fuck your fresh air. I don't, I don't want your fresh air. That's all I get all day. I want to go inside. I want to be warm and cozy. I don't want your air. You have a games room. You have no hangman in there. That's like the only thing worth having in a games room. Your bedroom looks like a Motel 6. The clip I saw, you had 54 bed bugs having their way with each other in plain sight. It was disgusting. God knows who that woman was in the background. Vertoso, I don't think you understand anything about player-owned houses. You know, I, th I think you should really start doing some research before you d participate in your own challenges. Maybe spend a little less money faking women being in your house, and then you might be able to afford some furniture. That was embarrassing.
Tanzu, you left a little better impression on me at first. Nice aesthetics in the garden. Looks like you put maybe a little bit of effort into your furniture. It's just that you lost me so fucking quick. Because there I am, picture me sitting down, looking at this presentation. And all of a sudden, I get a fucking beggar rodent just asking me for money. The amount of points you lost when you showcased your little tip jar. I don't think I can measure the amount. I'm not sure how they do it in British fuckface land. But over here... In America, if you so much as acknowledge the fact that you know what tips are, even if your well-being depends on it, you're dead to everyone around you. But yeah, your boxing ring looked nice. I'm not really sure what else to say about either of your houses. I mean, th that was just, that was bad. Both of you guys clearly have no idea what you're doing. I took a long time to, to think this over. And uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and vote for Vertoso. Only because I know for a fact that the other two judges aren't going to make it 30 seconds into his presentation before they figure out who has the better house here. Vertoso, you've got my pity vote. Congratulations. I'm leaving. It was an absolute pleasure getting a tour around your houses. And I can tell you've both put in a lot of work to this. The first thing that springs to mind about both your houses is the outdoor area. Tanzu, you had a lovely outdoor area with a lot of wildlife. However, the tip jar sat in the corner was a little bit of a turn off for me. Vitozo, your outdoor area made me feel so good free flowing, lots of fresh air, and not too overcrowded. Heading to the inside, this is where the real difference comes in. Whilst both insides were quite similar, Vitozo, you could noticeably tell you'd spent a lot less money on the furniture inside. The combat ring has barbed wire around the edges. The bed doesn't even have a mattress in it. Whereas on Tanzu's side, you have a perfect room with a huge mahogany table that really lights up the room. And on top of that, a nice area for all your pets to hang out, which is very, very important. I have to admit, between outside and inside, this was a very tough decision for me. But today, my vote is going to Tanzu. Okay, this is going to be pretty hard for me to decide because you're both offering something very different here. Vitoso's, I would say, is the more fun place with mystery and a sense of wonder. You know, he's got uh, open, empty spaces, probably due to the fact that he doesn't have a lot of money. I don't like that he's not cut the grass. Just, uh, you should, you should, you know, that costs no money, mate. All you gotta do is switch low detail on rune light and your grass is trimmed, mate. To be honest, mate, Tanzu is just way more equipped for um, inviting guests, um, for warmth, you know. Tanzu's house just looks warmer. Like, I don't, I feel like your house, Vitoso, you're just going to freeze in it. There's just nothing in there, to be honest, mate. And you've got, like, a big abyssal sire that probably, probably stinks of, like, plasm. Although Tanzu's curtains probably stink of cum. <laughs> I think I'll go for the obvious choice. And I think I'm going to have to say Tanzu has the better house. So it's a 4-1 win to you, Dave. 4-1 oh, win. <laughs> I'm not being funny, right? Listen. I spent a solid 15 hours editing that. There's no way it took 15 hours to edit that. Jen, I was writing jokes thinking I've got to make better jokes than Jen. I've done myself proud. I've done... I'm disappointed in myself. I'm Jen... so fuming. It's a shit year for everyone, right, Jen? But as time goes on, this year, I'm just continuing to impress. You know what I mean? All right, let's get the forfeit wheel up then. Right, boys and girls, the forfeit wheel is on the screen right now. Let's give it a spin. Something good for me, please. Something good. <gasps> oh, he's the one to turn high on value, Dave. <laughs> so that means I've got to get 10 items in my inventory. Dave's got to pick a number. your highest value items. Yeah, um, you've got to pick a number 1 to 10, Dave, uh, and then I out whichever number you land on. So. Oh, yeah, I know, Jay. I've done this before. Right, lads, I've filled my invent 1 to 10 with expensive items. There's some big items in there, Dave. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to... What's the most expensive item? Um, I've got Ranger Boots and Tassies in there. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. All right. You ready? I'm ready, yeah. Any number? Come on. Uh, well, you knowing me know I like evens, don't you? I say this every time, and I don't think you've learned yet. Mm. Um, so I'm going to go for an odd. Right. I think she said nine when she walked past that. <laughs> Did she say nine? <laughs> I think she said nine, yeah. You sure? You want to go for nine? Nah, number three. Number three? Nah, nine. Nine, final answer, nine. All right, nine. it's going. It's going before you change nine. your mind. It was nine. a Carol's top, Dave. At one point, what is it? Two mil? 
I've outed it now. <laughs> I've outed it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't even know how much it is. I think, I think it's like 1.5, 1.2 mil. Lad, to be well, fair, I mean, it's one of the better ones on there. I put D boots well, in there for a curveball. Isn't, isn't <laughs> yeah, I've just put blood, sweat and tears into that promo and you, you lose that. Lads, thank you very much for watching this episode of Old School RuneScape Challenges. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, check out Dave's channel and leave a comment below with any forfeit or challenge ideas. Thanks for watching, lads, and we'll see you in a bit. See you later.